Hello everyone. Alright, so we are still looking at comparing strings. So far we've seen the equals method and we've seen the compared to method. So both the equals method and the compared to method, when they're comparing, they're com they are comparing, they compare in a case um, case sensitive manner. For example, if you're comparing the letter the lower the letter lowercase k and you're comparing the letter uppercase k, they are not the same because one is lowercase, one is uppercase. That's how the compare to uh, the compare to method and the equals method compare. So let's um, look here at the compare to ignore case method and then the equals ignore case method. The string class provides these two methods for comparing uh, case insensitive um, strings. Right? Uh, sorry, or 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 for comparing strings in a in a case insensitive manner. So you have a better sense when when we have an example. For. So let's create uh, a string here. I'm going to create uh, a string class type variable. I'm going to call it name one, and I'm going to set it equal to the string again. My name Kakra. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to create another string. I'm going to call it name two, and I'm going to set it equal to the string Kaki. Um, well, let's 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 just say Kakra, right? And then we're going to create an if statement. Same thing, Kakra. We're going to create an if statement and say that if name one, okay, let's first start with the equals method. So if name one dot equals name two, then let's go ahead and display a message. Oops, my typing is getting bad. <laughs> My tap my tapping is actually bad. It's not getting bad. <laughs> All right. So system dot print ln print out the let's 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 use the values in the variables themselves. Let's print out name one. Concatenate it with a string is equal to name. Let's concatenate it with a variable name two. All right. Else else means that if name one is not equal to name two. Then let's display a message. I'm going to copy this and paste it. Display a message saying that name one is not not equal to name two. So let's compile this. Now we can see that these two strings are the same. So we are expecting it to say Kakra is equal to is equal to Kakra, right? So let's compile this and then run. And now it says over here that Kakra is equal to Kakra. That's because when you compare this, we can see it's exactly the same. The first character is an uppercase K. First character here is an uppercase K. Second character is a lowercase k. Second character over here is a lowercase k. All right. So when you change this to uppercase kakra, this way, right? Although they have the same, you know, characters. Let's say the same exact characters like kk, aa, kk. Because this is an uppercase um, string and this is a, a mix of cases, um, they are not the same. Even though it's the same kakra. When I compile this and I run going to say that Kakra is not equal to Kakra. And that's true. And that's because the, the equals method and the compare to method, they both compare um, case sensitive, um, well, th they compare strings in a case sensitive manner. So let's try the compare to also. So if name one dot compare to name two result in the, uh, the value zero. We know when you use it, we use a compare to and it compares name one with name two and it results to zero. We know that they are equal, right? Notice I'm using a double equal sign here. I'm asking to see if what's on the right is equal to what's on the left, right? So if it results to zero, we know that they are equal. So let's compa um, compile and then run. And it says that Kakra is not equal to Kakra. And that's true, right? But when I change this to, let's say, back to exactly this, you know, this this first string compile this and run and it says that kakra is equal to kakra that's because again go com compare to method and then the equals method they both compare strings in a very case sensitive manner the case have to be uh, exactly the same for for them to be equal if i change this this character to k and i change this character to k because they are exactly the same when i compile it and i run it says kakra is equal to kakra when i change this back to lowercase k because this one is an uppercase k this one is a lowercase k they are different when I compile and I run it says that Kakra is not equal to Kakra alright so going to change this back to equals just to you know, keep things organized I guess to, <laughs> to start with equals so the, the oops sorry name one not equals no that's not a syntax yeah alright so 
the equals uh, well the string class has other methods for comparing um, strings in a way that it, it ignores the case right and with equals that method is e equals ignore case this way right which that this means this when you're comparing these two strings I don't care about the case as long as it has a letter K and it has a letter K here whether this is uppercase or this is lowercase I don't care check to see if it, it has a letter K here and if it does then say they're equal right I don't care if for example let's change this to Kakra so ignore case means compare these two check to see if they're equal I don't care if this has a lower uh, this has a lowercase a and this has an uppercase K check to see if it, they are both a and if that's the case, check um, it not, um, display that they are equal. So when I compile this and I run, it's going to say Kakra is equal to Kakra, not because yeah, they have different cases or you know, but because um, they have the same characters. It's ignoring the case, right? It's saying Kakra is equal to Kakra because um, let's see, yeah, it's saying Kakra is equal to Kakra because they have the same characters. It's not. It's ignoring the case. The same way we'd um, compare to ignore case. So com there's another method called compare to ignore case. If name one dot compare to ignore case name ignore case name two is equal to zero. Let's compile this and run. It's saying Kakra is equal to Kakra, right? Because they both have the same characters. This is K K. This is A A. This is K K. And this is R, uppercase R, this is lowercase R. It doesn't care about the case, whether one is lowercase or one is uppercase. It's just checking to see, does this have an R? Does this have an R? Does this have an A? Does this have an A? And it's ignoring the case. If you don't have the ignore case, it's going to compare them, making sure that they, they are both lowercase or both uppercase before it says they're equal. But if you use ignore case for both compared to or equals, it doesn't care about the case. It's just check to see if they have the same character. So I, I, hope, you, I hope you get this. So this is going to be helpful moving forward. Um, so in the next video, we'll, we'll see an example program of how you know this can be used in a, in a program. All right, so I hope this makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.